Well, uh, I didn't know those bolts were Torx. It's this one. No, that's going to be the T40. No, it's this one. No, don't strip it. Oh, you're right. This is a 40. T40 goes on the big ratchet. <laughs> just trying to rush this because we're trying not to get rid of your thunder now. Oh, look. I know, it's coming it's like, from both sides. Yeah, it's like all around us. What's up, Light Bright Nation? What is up, Light Bright Nation? We are finally home. We're home. Finally home in Utah. It's beautiful. It's springtime and we are just ready to relax. We're excited to be well, home. It's we've been gone for a hot, hot yeah, minute. Yeah, but we can't really relax because no rest for the winter. <laughs> there, there's stuff to do. As usual. And, and what I'd normally have Chris and Beck do, we uh, have to do because they're gone. Yeah, Chris is in Florida. And Beck's in, in Tennessee. Tennessee, yeah. And and we've got cool products to install because it is springtime and it's time to use them. Let's just start off by saying I think it's pretty well known at this point. It's not really an arguable fact, general consensus. The Ford Bronco soft top, the factory soft top, leaves a lot to be desired. It's not great. It sucks. It, it sucks. It's and I think pretty everyone pretty much agrees on that at this point, which is why we were so stoked when we got the Bronco Raptor and they only come with the hard top. Which is great. Which is fantastic. It looks sick, I it, like it. it. It looks amazing, it performs amazingly. However, I will say this, there is nothing wrong with it, but I will say this, we do kind of miss the easy access open air feature that soft tops can provide. And some of you might be saying, well wait, Brittany. This is a modular hard top, Brittany. You do have easy access, look. I mean, they're pretty lightweight and they come right off. What you're gonna do with that once you pull it off, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever pulled any of these panels off. That's actually, that's We've right. owned this since last, <laughs> I don't even know, what, I don't even, when September, October, I don't even know when we bought it, but this is literally, right then, is the first time I've ever pulled this, Just. this panel off. I know you can put these in the back and I know they made it so you can put like the doors in the back and if you're traveling, you have stuff, you have people, you have nowhere to put this. You have bags and suitcases. Right, then what? So you, you just pull it off. What do you do? You leave them in your hotel room or at your campsite? Yeah, sounds like a great plan. Unless you, Unless I don't know, you're in bipolar Colorado or dark Utah clouds or <laughs> show up or something. Yes, it it's pouring. It's just very. It's not very convenient. Not very convenient at all. We have an answer for that. We have a remedy for that. And that remedy is kind of the perfect combination, like mating between a soft top and the features we love from a soft top, and a hard top and the features we love from a hard top, which would be insert one of my favorite modifications we've ever done to one of our Jeeps, which is this. It's the Best Top Sunrider. Now this is not a full soft top. This basically just replaces the Freedom Panels or Ford's version of the Freedom Panels on the front to give you way easier access to your open air, even on the move. Now I'm, I'm not Chris, so I can't throw away the constructions, <laughs> but I will say on their construct instructions, constructions, constructions, it's fine. It says it's a 30 minute install time, skill level one. All you need is a T40, T50 Torx drivers and a four and five millimeter Allen wrench. I, I, I'm pretty sure Brittany and I can handle that. Although I will say generally with filming, kind of double, triple, quadruple that time frame. but we're still gonna get it done as quickly as we can <laughs> while entertaining you guys in the it's process. A, hold on, it's already been 45 minutes of just <laughs> trying to get things <laughs> right. Finding shade to park the stuff in. Oh, anyways, it's fine. This will go quickly. Maybe. And to give you a little idea, this is literally all the hardware that you need. That's it. This is it. I mean, obviously. This there's... also, though, took 15 of the minutes because, as you can see, Kevin had to make it look pretty for you guys. This is the tools and all the hardware, and then the rest is just in here. So it can't be that bad. Don't say that. <laughs> that was the worst way you could have just jinxed what's about to happen. Okay, so do we just need to grab the, the door rail, the upper left, upper right door rail, and then the whole assembly and just get to work. Get, get, get to work. But th this is a really, really cool mod. I do love it because I do like to open it. Then it gets like hot. The sun's beaming down on you, so you close it or it starts. Well, look at this. Oh, it's gonna I, rain on us while we're shouldn't. doing this. Fingers crossed, but. Watch it rain on us still doing this install. What are you doing? I'm trying to get it out. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. I thought you went to the gym. <laughs> See my tiny arms? They're not useful for a lot. Step Yay. one. <laughs> All right, so now that the hard part's over with, 
dumb. <laughs> oh, I get it. All right, so you just take the top out, flip it over upside down, and then you're gonna basically just bolt these pieces together. They're, they're yep. see how they're separated? Bolt that side to the top side. And just get both sides started. You don't wanna tighten one side down and then the other. <laughs> Ask us how we know. <laughs> we're making all of the mistakes so that you don't have to, but we're in a hurry now. What wasn't a storm looks like it actually might be one. So next up is actually installing the door rails themselves onto the Sunrider. They're gonna go like so. Yeah, if you'll see, there's a foam piece right here. There's this foam. Yep. That's gonna sit nice right and on the snug inside of there. Into that corner, yep. And bolt it down. Try not to, you know, jack it up too much. Like I'm sure we won't. I'm just gonna squeeze that in there right there. There you go, see, we're fine. It's all good, okay. So snug it's snug. literally four bolts so far. Just kidding, Kevin just pointed out I can't math. Eight bolts, because four per side. <laughs> Squad hair. Now if I would have actually started on page one, instruction <laughs> one, when, Where we, when, removed we, these? when we removed these, you're supposed to remove these two outer T50s. But I mean, obviously you can do it now. You just have to do it before. It's fine. Oh look. Before you put the other top we on. We shove something up here. Oh yeah, that was. To try to get it to quit squeaking. Quit the squeaking. <laughs> we'll just. Fine. So you're just gonna remove these two outer bolts because they're gonna get replaced. Or well reused and well, part of it. Yeah, that. So the next step is actually putting this. Ready? Grab on. it, you grab it, it, grab it. It's backwards. Huh? You have it back. There we go. Or upside down. Whatever. That what? <laughs> I mean. I got it. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. See? Whatever. Fine. See? That's fine. That's hot. It's so hot. Okay, so. Wait. I got these big fat. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta make sure it's make sure it's over the weather stripping on the back. And these big fat washers go. All right, hold on. They have T-Rex arms. <laughs> you so, have the long arms. They also give you oh, focus. These fat little washers here. These are actually gonna go underneath the sunrider and between right under there. And then they provide you with a bolt and a new washer. This bolt, a washer, goes boop like that. So I'm gonna make the man do the manly part and tighten everything up. He's good at putting things in holes. Whoa. Whoa. All right, so like Brittany said, we're gonna reuse the factory bolt up front, but when you pull these two out, they are two different sizes. So make sure you keep in mind which one was which. Uh, well, I think it's the short one. I mean. You have a 50-50 chance of being right. Well, the short <laughs> one has plenty of thread engagement. I would assume the long one went in the back. I didn't know they were different sizes until I went to go until put them back Until just now. In. Oh no, on my side, I recognized they were different sizes, oh. but that's fine. I like how you're just using an actual. Yeah, I could have just grabbed a drill. You could use a drill for all of this. Just you make got it even easier. Yeah, but you gotta be careful with Allen stuff because if you strip it out, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> okay, we spoke too soon. We had to unbolt the sunray. We're moving it back because we have a Bronco Raptor, not just a normal Bronco. And what that means is that we have this bar right here across kind of the B pillars, and we need access to those guys, which were blocked by this guy, and we couldn't. Yeah. So it's fine. Oh, you know what? We probably could have done that without unbolting that though. Yeah, because we still would have had to bolt the bracket on and stuff. We'll show you, we'll show you. Okay, so I should have prefaced this entire thing by saying, so this is a Sunrider, a best top Sunrider for a four door Bronco, but it does fit onto a Bronco Raptor, also a four door Bronco. But we are at this moment deviating a little bit from the constructions because the Bronco Raptor does have this guy right here. So. Basically what we're doing is we simply unlatch this and slid this back a little bit because we need to take off this screw and this well, bolt, this bolt and that bolt because we have to attach a bracket to it and then we can slide it back forward and slap it all back together and then bolt the Sunrider on. At least we're in the shade right here. Yeah. It's a little nicer than being in the sun. Are we reusing this bolt? Uh, yes. Yes. Mm, wait, maybe. No, it says just to hold on to the bolts if you ever wanted to reinstall the hard top pieces. Okay, so we've got this bracket here and that's why we had to do this is because this has to bolt to here and we absolutely would not have been able to do that while this was all latched down. At least it's easy though, because it's not all one piece like a Wrangler, like this yeah. back piece just unbolts. It's its own modular like, piece. Yeah, that was actually pretty nice. I was like, no, I gotta unbolt the whole thing. Oh wait, no, no we don't. don't. Yep, line it back up, slap it back down. Now, now we can do this. Aha. Yes. Yes. No. Oh. That's why I lifted mine up to do it. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. I got it. It's fine. Let me see the tool so I can finish doing mine. I left all of my bolts and hardware. In the sun? In the direct sun. <laughs> in their molten lava. Ew. I'm gonna let Kevin do this again. Ow. <laughs> the Allen wrench is like. It's all hot. You know what's so funny is we have a garage to do this kind of stuff. We do. But Brittany 
likes the to film is, outside. It's so much better. So like we're over here rushing because the storm's coming, the sun's burning all the tools. You know what could remedy that, Brittany? The shop right there. In the garage. The freaking shop that we the have. The lighting is so much better out here. You're a mess. It's like playing hot potato. You're a mess. I got it. All because she wanted better lighting for you guys. Literally. Appreciate it. It's like I mean, beauty is pain. Good videography is. Like we're over here getting sunburned. No, not I put sunscreen on. Oh, I didn't. Oh, sucks I thought to we be were you. working in the garage. <laughs> How tight? That's probably. That's fine. Until it breaks free and then you back off the court. No, I'm joking. Don't. Oh. Now what? Now we got to bolt this on. Okay. Okay. Where are the bolts? In the sunlight. Also. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh this woman. I love. Oh her. my God. It's well, so hot. <laughs> Look, there's shade down there. Put everything in the shade. I am, I am. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh right, my goodness. It's good. So is that, is that the last step? Um, That's the last thing to bolt down. Next step, I think so, actually. Yeah, it's the last thing to bolt down. I don't know, I haven't looked, at, I haven't looked that far ahead. Yeah, the and then we just have the cables oh, so bright. and we lock it. It'd be awesome if it started raining right now where you could be like, oh look. Oh my God, I wouldn't even shut it. Just be like, yes. I do these installs all day. So this is where the bracket that we just installed on yeah. the back panel, it essentially bolts to the Sunrider itself. Yeah. Keeps everything nice and taut. Taut like a tiger. Well, it's so, yeah, it like literally secures the Sunrider to the vehicle. Yeah. Babe, use your Allen. I, that's true. Which one is the it? The big one. Is it? No, the Allen. Oh, is, I see it, I see it, is, I see it, I see it. I was like, that torx. one's way too big. Well, technically Jeez. this is a Torx. Wait, oh, it's a Torx? Yeah, jerk. Oh, I didn't know, well, uh, I didn't know those bolts were Torx. It's this one. No, it's gonna be the T40. No, it's this one. No, don't strip it. Oh, you're right, this is a 40, this is a 30. T40 goes on the big ratchet. We're only, we're, we're just trying to rush <laughs> this because we're trying not to get rain. I hear thunder now, oh look. I it's, know, it's coming it's like, from both sides. Yeah, it's like all around us. This is what could happen out on the trails, and then you have all your tops off, and then you can't put them on because you don't have them with you because they're in the hotel room. This is like literally the perfect analogy for, for why we're doing this. I don't know if analogy is the word. It's not. It's an actual real life scenario. There you scenario. Go. That works. Scenario. <laughs> I have tiny hands. Yeah, you don't have to like ratchet down on this stuff. You just kind of. I have tiny hands. Just kind of. It's fine. Tighten we're good. it up. We're okay. Good and close no i think we have the cables right no right. so fold the sunrider forward secure the latches you're done and that's it oh. so it looks like there's a lot more but that's because it's in multiple languages oh okay well let's see you do it and it's perfect timing because the clouds are starting to hover let's say you're in our situation this is the perfect scenario as kevin said earlier basically it's beautiful it's sunny you've had your top open and it's wonderful and then it starts to rain you're like oh crap and so you come to a stop at say a stop sign or a stoplight or maybe you do it while you're still driving at a very slow speed not that we recommend that but we may no, have done you, that before too anyways literally from the seat I can reach and shut this from my seat. I can technically do both sides also from my seat. Can you? It's really tight right now. It's really, it's taut it's because hot. it's the first time yeah. we've ever done it. But boom, ta-da! Ta-da, let's see No more being rained on. Yay! Close the dough. Look. Close the dough. Ta-da! And it's still black, so it still kind of blends in with the whole thing. It doesn't really change the look of it, which is great because we like the way that it looks as is. However, again, now I don't have freedom panels. Again, I don't know what Ford calls theirs, but you don't have a modular top and pieces that you have to store somewhere and forget somewhere or have stolen should we, somewhere. Should we go pick up the, t the tools before it starts raining and we well, can go for a drive and it, see. Uh, wait, hold on. I want to show two. Let's say, okay, it has ceased raining now and now we want open air again, right? It rained for like two seconds because mother nature is fickle. Ta -da. You can do it in the span of like 10 seconds. This is why this is like one of my favorite all time modifications that we've done on the Jeep. Now we had it on the Bronco. I'm very excited about it. But Kevin is right, we do need to take it for a test drive. So we're gonna do that right now. I am thinking though, since we still have like 80% of the actual hardtop, I don't think the wind noise difference is gonna be that big of a deal because one of the downsides to having a full soft top is a lot more wind noise. I don't think that's gonna be the case with just the Sunrider though, which is another reason we usually love this. All right, we're driving. On the road, <laughs> we're driving. I am pretty certain there's no way a thin piece of fabric is gonna be as quiet as a big piece of Plastic hard top. and foam, and, and ours even has, well, the, the, the Raptors come with the uh, lining inside for, for noise. Yeah. 
there's just no way. But, but it's, honestly, I can say two things. It's really not that bad as far as like wind noise goes. It's probably about where I was expecting it to be. And I can also say with utter confidence, it is nowhere near as bad is like the full, the full factory soft Bronco yeah. soft top. So like so, so, infinitely yeah. better. So everything's a give and take, right? Yeah. More speed, more power, use more fuel, less reliability. I mean, everything in life, yeah. everything. So yes, you're going to get a little bit more wind noise. I think it's perfectly acceptable. Given and it's totally worth it to me to have the easy open air access. It's literally on the go. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. You don't have to worry again about storing those panels. You don't have to worry about leaving them behind and then suddenly not having them when it starts to rain like it's just easier it's so much easier which is why i love it which is what i was gonna say oh before she just say it kev just cut in i mean say i was it. going there and she Speak just speak like, your heart oh you you said it all beautifully you're driving a brick right it's a little bit more shapely than a jeep the windshield's laid back a smidge more but you're still driving a brick i'd say maybe 15 so, percent more wind noise uh, i can't give it a percentage but it's like now I can go convertible whenever Maybe I want. Maybe I should not be giving a percentage either because we've clearly proven that I can't math. So maybe just ignore that. I think it's pretty negligible. Okay, so we're doing 60. Let's slow down. There's nobody behind us. And it's like, oh, it's really nice out. Ba -da. Keep going. You can't do that with the freedom panels or whatever they're called for Ford. Oh, and trick, because I have a feeling this is probably it is because you see my hair doing it so we learned this in the jeep same thing with the sunrider we haven't tried this in here yet though it's, we'll see it's not quite as bad as the jeep as far as usually my hair's like but we're not going too fast yet but if you roll down your back windows about yay much look at well maybe that made it worse wait no i felt it for a second wait I think it's, wait well, if i roll this it back one's up? all the way down oh that's why i only i pressed it the wrong way my bad too much. Too <laughs> you want to try Wait, this again? I got to find it. No, that's it right there. Okay. Look at my hair. Right. Yeah. So you, you just have to find, barely, you just crack them. female like, riders. You, like a, two inches ish. Yeah. Barely crack the rear windows and it lets your air kind of whoof and go back. So your hair doesn't go quite as crazy. We're going 50 miles an hour right now. People have the Jeep hair don't care mentality. Right, I do not. You... I care about my hair doing this the whole time that I'm <laughs> in the passenger seat. So, look at that, it's so nice. Yeah, and you can kind of see my hair's doing right at the very top. It does crazy stuff while the back is <laughs> open. Anyway. And then we can just go all the way open and see what happens. Don't do that. Let's not do that. We can stop that now. <laughs> we can please stop, thanks. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Oh no, it's <laughs> raining. Wait, I'm gonna do it one-handed. One-handed. With, with the assist. With the assist. Anyway. 10 seconds. That's it. Boom, that's done. that's why it's so fun. And if it gets hot, it gets cold, it gets windy, it gets wet, whatever it is. You just open, close, open, close, open, close. All right. I will say, after doing that and undoing it and redoing it and whatever, I could probably do that in about 10 minutes now. It, it was is actually pretty easy to come on now that you know where everything goes. Super easy. So if you have multiple Jeeps or multiple Broncos, you can put them on all. The first one will take you 30 minutes and then the rest will take you about No 10, time at all. Maybe. If you want it to be even easier though, Best Top does have a YouTube video that gives you a really, really good step-by-step -step installation process. And it is amazing. Definitely do that. We didn't watch it first. We should have. However, However, if you have a Bronco Raptor, do remember the one difference is before that Sunrider goes on top of the vehicle, go ahead and remove that middle panel so you can get to those bolts and put that bracket on. Do that first. Right, so take whatever, I think it's step five, the bracket section, move, step five, move that step to step to the, one. Move that to the beginning when, on a Bronco Raptor. When you pull the panels off, yeah. undo the back, set, the, set it yeah. back a little bit and put that bracket on. So move step five to within step one. Yeah, learn from our mistakes, Yes, basically. <laughs> okay, now last but not least, I do wanna mention Best Top's Rubicon Excursion Giveaway. Now we don't get anything if anyone that we know wins it, but it would be super sick if one of our subscribers won, which is why we wanna tell you about it because it's probably one of the coolest prizes we've come across in a giveaway in quite a while. Essentially, Best Top is giving away an all expense paid trip to the Jeep Jamboree USA Rubicon Trail in 2024. This giveaway is going all the way through to December 31st. The end of the year is when they will announce the winner. Now you can check out Best Hop's website for more information on how to enter the giveaway itself. This is basically including your flights, your meals, 
two VIP camping days, and you have the option of having Best Stop ship your Jeep to the Rubicon Trail for you, or they'll even provide you a Jeep if you'd rather do that. It's gonna be pretty cool, and from what I understand, not only do you get to enjoy the Rubicon Trail, but the night before the adventure and the night after the adventure, you get to stay in the Ritz-Carlton, which I've never been to it, but I assume it's fancy because that's what it sounds like. <laughs> so definitely go to their website, check that out because it should be a pretty rad adventure. One that we may be on, we don't know yet, but we'll let you know for sure later. That's all we have for you guys though. Bye, Jelly. Yay. That's it, the Sunrider, <laughs> it is installed. It looks beautiful, we're so excited. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget, to like, subscribe, and share. Remember we find all your Lightbright Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. Guys, as always, we love you. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Wow.